गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर क्लासेस ऑफ क्लास टेन चैप्टर वन रिवाइजिंग बेसिक जावा कंसेप्ट फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज फीचर्स ऑफ ओ ओ पी लैंग्वेज ओ ओ पी स्टैंड फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इज जावा लैंग्वेज एंड सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज फाइव फीचर्स आर डेटा एब्सट्रैक्शन डेटा एनकेप्सुलेशन इनहेरिटेंस पॉलीमोर्फिजम मॉड्यूलरिटी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन ईच फीचर्स वन बाई वन विथ एन एग्जाम्पल डेटा एब्सट्रैक्शन द एक्ट ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग द एसेंशियल फीचर्स विदाउट इंक्लूडिंग द बैकग्राउंड डिटेल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू बाई अ कार वी आर इंटरेस्टेड ओनली विद द एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स लाइक द लुक प्राइस ब्रांड माइलेज ई टी सी फीचर्स विदाउट इंक्लूडिंग द इंटरनल मैकेजम और द वर्किंग ऑफ इट सेकेंड डेटा एंड कैप्सुलेशन रैपिंग अप ऑफ द डिफाइन रैपिंग अप ऑफ द डेटा एंड फंक्शन इन टू अ सिंगल यूनिट कॉल क्लास लाइक इन क्लास नाइन वी हैव स्टडीड विथ एन एग्जाम लाइक वी राइट अ प्रोग्राम बाई यूजिंग द की वर्ड क्लास number this then we write public void now here we write some statements now this whole program is written under the same single unit class with the class name as number now next feature inheritance inheritance means the ability of the class to inherit the properties or the features of another class in class 10 we write the program by using one class only but we can write a java program by using more than one class like suppose i start i'll give an example i write class num num as one i write the quotes i public void here we will write some statements then i am closing class number 1 similar way again i can start class public void num now what i can do is i can reduce the number of statements by copying some of the features of class 1 in class 2 so it saves the time memory space this feature is, is so this is an example of inheritance next next is polymorphism polymorphism means ability to exist in more than one form i'll give a small example like this english word well this word well it has a dual meaning well we say that the and uh, one meaning is well means good another well means it is a water body where the water is stored well so it has a two meaning according to the situation or according to the circumstances the meaning is changing next is next term is modularity modularity means dividing a big program into a smaller sub programs like i have a big program and what i will do is i will divide this program into five five smaller units so this is the main program these are the sub programs the main program suppose this sub program 1 sub program 2 sub program 3 sub program 4 sub program 5 so this kind so this these individual sub programs are given the name as 
modules and this whole process is known as modularity okay students first topic is clear next topic is keyword the meaning of the word keyword is the keyword are the reserved words which convey a special meaning to the language compiler example what we are using the keywords like class public main if for these are the main keywords which are directly which are directly used in our program and these words cannot be used as a variable in our program next is the identifier identifier means suppose i am writing this statement in a is equal to now there are certain terms which are very much related now this one is known as data type this is known as a variable or this is better known as as identifier this is known as constant another one is known as uh, another as literal now i am going to explain the in detail what does this word mean now first of all we are going to see about the data type now these data types are classified into two types we have one is primitive primitive data type another is reference data type now in primitive data type refers to which are the basic are uh, basic data types given by the language compiler examples are like int topic compilation of java program so this full diagram describes about the compilation of java program this is the program what we are writing source code high level language oh, which is converted to intermediate code which is better known as byte code by the use of a converter named compiler so this is in step 1 now this byte code byte code which is known as the as the intermediate code which finally gets converted to machine code with the help of a special converter known as the interpreter and this interpreter is better known as by the word by the abbreviation as jvm which stands for java virtual machine now this jvm or the java virtual machine converts the byte code or the intermediate code into finally into machine code and the main main uh, usefulness of the java program is main usefulness of this jvm is it makes the java program independent this part is clear